Let's take a look at the multiple choice questions from this grade 12 paper. Question 1.1. An astronaut with a mass of 70 kilograms is on a planet where his weight is 550 newtons. The gravitational acceleration on the planet is something. This is quite a tricky question because um, when you first look at it, you may think it's Newton's law of gravity. But we don't have enough information to go that route. So the other route that we can take is we know that the force of gravity is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. So we know the weight, we've been given the weight. So 550 is equal to 70 multiplied by the acceleration. If we divide both sides by 70, we're going to get the acceleration as 7,86 meters per second squared. That corresponds to A. Let's look at the next one. Question 1.2. A ball of mass M traveling to the right at velocity V strikes a wall and rebounds to the left at velocity 0, 0,25 V. The change in momentum of the ball is. Now, if they want us to calculate the change in momentum, delta P, delta P is equal to the mass of the object times the final, so into the final velocity minus the initial velocity. We need to choose a direction as positive here. I'm going to choose the initial direction as positive. So I'm going to choose the right as positive. So it's going to be m, open bracket. The final velocity is to the left. So it's going to be minus 0, 0,25 v. And then minus the initial velocity, so minus v. That's going to be m multiplied by minus 1, 1,25 v. Now we can simplify. That's going to be minus 1, 1,25 mv. And remember, this is to the right. So therefore, my answer is going to be 1,25 mv to the left. And that corresponds to letter B. Okay, let's move on. Question 1.3. A girl throws a ball upward. Which one of the following combinations give the directions of the ball velocity, acceleration, and net force that the ball experiences as it travels upward after leaving the girl's hand. So we can do this quite easily if we draw a free body diagram of the, for the ball once it's in the air. Once the ball is in the air, there is only going to be the force of gravity that's pulling it down. Okay, And we know for any free-falling uh, free um, objects, acceleration is always going to be down. So already two things we do know. We know that the net force is going to be down. And we know that the acceleration is going to be down. So that means we are left with um, option C or option A. Okay. Now, if we think about the, the actual movement of this. So if I had to draw a person here and they've thrown the ball up. Say they've thrown the ball up at V equals 10 meters per second. Once it's at, at this point, the velocity, the velocity is still going to be upward, but it's going to be less because it's slowing down. For example, it could be 8 meters per second. So whilst it's going up, the, the velocity is still going to be upward, but it's going to be decreasing. So the answer then is going to be A. Question 1.4. Consider the molecular formula below. This is an organic chemistry part. Um, C3HHO. The name of the homologous series that the above compound belongs to is A or an ketone alcohol aldehyde carboxylic acid. So we can, we can immediately cancel out carboxylic acid because carboxylic acids have um, COOH at the end, or in other words, they have two oxygens. This 
clearly only has one. Um, that means we're left with ketone, alcohol, or aldehyde. So all three are possible. Um, we just need to figure out which one. Now, there's a really easy way to do it. If you look at this molecular formula, C3H8O, this follows the formula CNH2N plus 2O. This 2N plus 2 tells us that there's only single bonds. Only single bonds. Now, if you think of a ketone, a ketone has a, a carbon double bond O. Um, an aldehyde also has a carbon double bond O. The only one that has only single bonds is an alcohol. So the answer here is B. Okay. Question 1.5. Given the following four organic molecules, ethanol, so ethanol is an aldehyde because it ends in L, so aldehyde, ethanol, which is an alcohol, ethanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid, and ethane, which is an alkane. They want to know which one of the following is correct when above compounds are arranged in decreasing vapor pressure. So remember, um, decreasing vapor pressure means the same thing as increasing boiling point. So we need to know the intermolecular forces here. So, um, we know that all of them will have intermolecular forces. We just have to now recall what are the intermolecular forces that's going to be present. Okay, so an alkane will have London, which is the weakest. And so it will have the lowest boiling point. Right? Then we'll have an aldehyde. which will have dipole. So that's the first one. Then the second one, which is stronger than, um, which is stronger than London. And now we have an option now between the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. Now alcohol and carboxylic acid both have hydrogen bonding, but we need to remember that an alcohol has one uh, position for, so alcohols, have one position for hydrogen bonding. Whereas the carboxylic acid has two. So since it has two, the carboxylic acid will have a higher boiling point. So we should find the alcohol being three, and then the fourth one being the carboxylic acid. So one hydrogen bond, and this one will have two hydrogen bonds. Okay, so that answer corresponds to D. Ethane, the alkane, ethanol, the aldehyde, ethanol, the alcohol, ethanoic acid, the carboxylic acid, D. And the last question, which one of the following reaction types will be used to prepare ethene and propane under high temperatures and pressures? So there's a few clues here. You are preparing ethene and propane. So some reaction, it's going to prepare an alkene and an alkane. And then you have the next clue, which has high temperatures and pressures. So high temp and high pressure. This is only one reaction and that's called cracking. So thermal cracking since high temperature. So the answer there is going to be C.